If the wealth of a people is determined by their health, then some part of the world indeed can be adjudged as ailing in abject poverty. Poverty that cannot only be explained by the lack of food, shelter, clothing and minimal peace, but also in inadequate healthcare services. It's a world that has not had peace or experienced calm in nearly two decades. Nonetheless, it is a country with people, men, women and children, with determination, courage, dreams and aspirations. Yet, unfortunately for them, what tomorrow holds is shrouded in the unclear possibility of waking up to health, peace and prosperity. The people who fled from Hargeisa, they were well off, they were rich people. When they went there, they became refugees, they didn't have shelters. They were exposed to sunlight, they were exposed to, to much rains, so they were experiencing a difficult life. For Hassan Noor, a landmine that detonated in a playfield left him with no upper limbs and one eye. While he counts himself lucky, having lost three of his playmates, the encounter is a story he will live to tell. <laughs> I represent a wider picture and I am a reflection of what happened during the civil war. I have been inhibited in many ways by the loss of my limbs. But thanks God, I am alive and able to tell my story or experiences. So many others never live to tell their story. In this kind of situation in which I find myself in, it is very difficult to meet your daily basic needs unless you are supported by others in several ways. Many others share the same experience with me, the same problems I went through. The story of Hassan resonates in the lips of many Somalis after the civil war and where effects of warring factions took a toll on civilians. Aid workers have difficulties accessing affected population with food and health care. Many journalists have lost their lives and aid workers captured for ransom. We met some people with guns who asked us just to go back or if you do not go back immediately, you will be shot to death. And then we were, we were uh, uh, compelled, compelled to go back from there. So it was a very challenging work. The environment in which work is one that, is, that has gone through a lot of difficulties, civil war, civil strife, instability, and uh, uh, a lot of uh, you know poverty. So it's it's not just very you know easy for organisations like Health Limited to operate uh, uh, without you know uh, bearing in mind that this is a very difficult area. This is a very uh, un unstable area that has gone through civil wars and civil strife. So. Uh, Basically speaking, this is an area that is stable, uh, fairly stable, but uh, precarious, uh, susceptible, and uh, you find that when we are undertaking our, you know, our projects, our activities in this uh, part of the world, we are on the alert, we are on standby on, 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 a, on a daily basis because you may never know what what will happen next and with limited or no access by aid workers and journalists to the war ravaged Somalia it is becoming increasingly difficult to get proper statistics on the health needs of the people the government does not have the capacity to uh, have systems in place to collect data in the whole of the country so uh, health unlimited is trying is working with the government uh, to try to strengthen uh, health management information systems, uh, basically in the areas uh, where we work, but with the view of rolling it out to uh, other areas. Available statistics on the relatively calm, self-declared autonomous state of Somaliland, located at the northwestern part of Somali, ranks the region as having one of the worst gross national product. The World Health Organization report shows Somaliland as having very low life expectancy, staggeringly high rates of maternal, newborn and child motility and morbidity, in addition to poor immunization coverage. 
the, the child mortality rate in Somaliland is one of the highest again in the world, which is 225 per thousand live births. So there is need to strengthen child survival programming in Somaliland. It's still uh, an area that has not been uh, given enough uh, attention by organizations and donors. The collapse of the government in the year 1991 with the fall of Said Barre led to further deterioration of Somali's health situation. The high incidence of disease that persisted into the early 1990s reflected a difficult environment, inadequate nutrition and insufficient medical care. There is a critical shortage of skilled personnel in almost all public institutions. Management systems are weak and public services are poorly resourced. In urban centers, private health clinics are common, but services are expensive, unregulated, with quality of care extremely variable and characterized by a great deal of malpractice. Challenges of lack of system means uh, that you will actually work to build the, the entire uh, system. There are challenges of uh, low literacy because uh, uh, the, during the civil war, uh, virtually every for, for a very long time, there were no uh, formal institutions of learning. It is for this reason that Health Unlimited, together with like-minded organizations and development partners, started programs in the Somali-speaking Horn of Africa to address critical humanitarian challenges facing the people. Founded in the year 1984 by a group of British aid workers to meet the gap in the provision of medical aid to people affected by prolonged and complex conflicts, Health Unlimited began its first action in southern Afghanistan. Most assistance in war-torn areas focused on emergency relief, which, though essential, does not address long-term needs and does not invest in the potential of local people to take control of their lives. They started working with health facilities trying to equip those facilities, trying to build more facilities uh, in Seoul and Sanag region of Somaliland. Uh, even after equipping and building more facilities in those areas, uh, Health Unlimited realized that uh, utilization rate of services uh, was still extremely low. And these were uh, occasioned by lack of adequate information, uh, by the target communities. So it, it, it made Health Unlimited change uh, strategy by embarking on uh, informing the communities through a robust uh, information, education and communication strategy. Life at the IDP camp is deplorable due to poor hygienic conditions and this needs to be addressed urgently.